Hey, what's going on, everybody? Today, we're going to discuss combinators in CSS. Combinators explain the relationship between listed selectors. There's four we'll discuss today. Descendants, which is just a space. A child, which is a right angle bracket. A tilde, which is a general sibling. And plus, which is for adjacent siblings. You would type something like this. You'll have selector one, a combinator, for example, the child combinator, then another selector. If I said div child combinator, then p, we're applying CSS properties to any paragraph elements found within this div section. What we'll do in this example is create a div section. I will give this div an ID of container. We'll create a few paragraphs. For paragraph one, let's say this is number one. We'll create another paragraph. Then we'll create an inner div section. This div section will not have an ID. But within this inner div section, we'll have another paragraph. This is number three. Outside of our div with an ID of container, we'll create two more paragraphs. This is number four. This is number five. That's all we'll need for now. Just to make it a little more clear that this is a div section, I'll take our container, then give it a border. Border, two pixels, solid. Paragraphs one, two, and three are within a div section. Four and five are not. I would like to highlight all paragraphs within my ID of container. I will take my ID of container, then I will use the descendant combinator, which is an empty space, then list another selector. I'm going to highlight all paragraphs within my div section. That would be my div section space. Then what am I applying CSS properties to? My paragraphs. Let's take the background color and set that to be yellow. Something like that's fine. All paragraph descendants of our container change the background color to yellow. That is the descendant combinator. It's just an empty space. Then you have children. Children is a right angle bracket. Highlight any paragraph children of our container class. Only one and two are highlighted. That's because three is not technically a child. It's a descendant. Think of it like a grandchild in this case. Paragraphs one and two are direct children of our container. But our third paragraph is one more level deep because it's wrapped within another div section. It's a descendant, but not a child. All children are descendants, but not all descendants are children. That would apply to number three. That's why only one and two are highlighted. That is the child combinator. Then we have general sibling, which is represented with a tilde. Take any paragraphs that are general siblings of our container. That would highlight four and five. Paragraphs four and five are both siblings to our container. They're both considered children of the body of my document. Therefore, they're siblings, like brothers and sisters. But if I were to wrap these two paragraphs within a div section, well, now they're no longer siblings. This div section is now a sibling to this first div section. Think of it this way. Paragraphs four and five are nieces and nephews to the first div element. All right, let's reverse that. Then we have adjacent siblings. Using a plus sign, we will select only adjacent siblings. Four is selected, but not five. The adjacent sibling is the next direct sibling, but not all siblings. That's why four is selected and not five. But if I change their positions around, five is now selected. All right, everybody, so those are combinators. They explain the relationship between listed selectors. You have descendant, child, general sibling, and adjacent sibling. And those are combinators in CSS.